dream was never to be a shipper, but it was the dream was to solve problems and challenges that are facing us these days. Every time we would get orders for our business, uh, we would go to the Willis Tower, which is in Chicago. So there's a post office in the basement. We would literally run there and mail the one order that we got. And we would start with only one order a day. And then towards the latter half of the day, we would start coming in with 10, 15 orders. And every single order would take this clerk a lot of time to process. And that would hold up the entire line. Some members of our team, I'm not going to name them, are actually banned from a few post offices. We thought we were getting friendlier with the, with the clerk at the post office. But that wasn't the case because we started getting annoyed by the frequency by which we were coming in. That, I guess that was one way that we started thinking as to how do we make this packaging and the shipping efficient, but yet not be able to encounter this post office or this post office clerk all the time. Because if you look at the Yelp reviews for post offices, they're not all five stars, right? So we were trying to work around that and it got us thinking about Shibba. We would stand outside the post office and try to take the packages from the people walking into the post office and ship it under our names or actually use ship bob technically so that caused a lot of issue postal police chased us out of post offices here and there this one time around where we just stood outside the post office and we did a survey we had a form we asked people hey if instead of walking inside a post office how much money would you pay me to do this for you right so literally you hand me this box that you're trying to ship and go i go inside and mail it for you are you gonna are you willing to pay me five bucks ten bucks or how, what is the dollar amount we realize it's a much, much bigger problem and we started to see the same people come in every day and just asked us to take their packages from their home, their locations, their offices or their warehouse in certain cases. And that was a leading indicator that this is not a novelty problem that a consumer for convenience sake needs, but this is a much deeper, bigger problem. So we started in Chicago in a 300 square feet apartment. Uh, we would tell our customers saying, hey, Every time you have an order, just text us and we would pick up your stuff and take it to the post office to mail it out. And then we started getting these regular, these clients who would be basically using that service several times a day and several times a week. And then these customers itself uh, told us, hey, instead of you guys sending somebody over to my location, why don't you just take some of my product and store it at your location? And then every time I get an order, I'll just notify you and we would, and you guys can package it. And we thought, wow, that's a great idea. From there, we moved on to a 1,200 square feet office where we would pack and ship products. And two years later, we have three facilities and an office, fourth one being launched soon. And each facility or fulfillment center is about 50 to 60,000 square feet in total. I think the life lesson here is that I could never imagine that packaging and shipping things could be so hard. Uh, and that this would require so many people to come together to solve this business problem. So it's, it's not like just putting a, something in a box and shipping it and it gets there. Uh, there are so many moving pieces to it that uh, it's almost surprising that so many packages make it, make it to the end destination without anything going wrong. We, to a certain extent, got lucky on the flip side. We did a lot of hard work to get here, but we never imagined two, three years later, we'll actually have these many people working for us and we'll be impacting so many businesses and lives of people overall. For commerce is people buying and selling products. So it's it's almost intrinsic to the human to buy and want things. And what ShipBob is doing in a very small way is enabling commerce for, uh, for this new generation of e-commerce, right? So we are playing our part in, in the commerce of the world.